Hello YouTube, Stillborn86 here with another Raspberry Pi video. Um, as you may know, I do have a Raspberry Pi A+. I also have a pair of Raspberry Pi B+. As you also may know, Monday the Raspberry Pi 2 was announced, so I had to jump on top of that. I ordered a pair of those, because why not, right? Um, I, that way I have one backup, one to use. Um, and I thought I'd share the unboxing with you and initial fit test. I've seen a lot of people concerned about if the Raspberry Pi 2 will fit in a Raspberry Pi B plus case. And, uh, we will see. We'll do an initial comparison, initial, uh, size check here. So first of all, let's open the box. The box does seem a little bit bigger than the uh, Raspberry Pi B Plus box, which is interesting. Didn't expect that, but uh, let's get into it anyway. As you can see, standard anti-static bag. The manual does look a little bit bigger. That's interesting. I wonder what's in that. Quick start guide and safety instruction manual. That's it's pretty hefty manual right there. I did get this straight from Element 14, so I don't I don't know if that's just exclusively them or what. I know my B plus came in a can of kit box because I did get the can of kit kit. So go ahead and take this out. Let's set that aside. There's, there's what everybody's looking for, right there. Yeah, Raspberry Pi 2 Model B. Mmm, look at that piece of beautiful machinery. 40 GPIO pins, standard HDMI, USB micro, 5 volt power. You got a display connection, camera connection, uh, multi AV component. You've got four USB and a network. Um, from what I understand, the network has not been upgraded. It's still the same, uh, I want to say it's 10 megabytes a second. Maybe I'm wrong about that. 10 something, 10 seems like a, like a fair number. So for some reason I want to say 10. Um, same networking chip. Broadcom ARM V7 quad core processor as opposed to the ARM V6, which I actually have a heat sink over here, over top of it, which I don't, I don't know why I'm uh, even pulling this aside for that. Whatever. On the bottom, it is a little bit different than the B+. Actually, it's a lot different. You do have the 1 gig RAM chip posted on the bottom of the B+. And actually, or on, on, the, on the bottom of the Pi 2. Looks like you have more connections for the USB solder points. I wonder what that's about. Same thing here. Hmm. I don't know. Oh well. That's just my uh, my initial impressions. B plus on this side. Pi two over here on this side. You can pause the video, look that over, and again. You can pause the video here, look that over interesting stuff right there. Some components have moved. These resistors over here have changed around quite a bit. I'm assuming that's for the RAM right here because they are right over top of the RAM. Hmm. Okay. And then of course the A plus side by side with this isn't too much different. Well, you are missing three USBs in the network therefore the network chip so things are short shrunk shrink are shrinking shrunken i don't know what the word is there all right so we have an a plus we have a b plus we have a manual the manual's got a number of things i guess is it multiple languages Is that German? Is this completely in German? 
No, it's just not. What is happening here? Part one quick start guide. That's this is the English. And then it jumps straight into something else that I'm not familiar with. Polish. Huh. So okay, that's why it's so so much bigger. It's in multiple languages. Oh good lord. There's some Japanese there. Okay, so anyway, Raspberry Pi manual, huge, as opposed to the B+. I guess they're covering all bases. But the big thing everybody wants to know is does the Raspberry Pi B Plus case work with the Raspberry Pi 2, since they are essentially the same form factor. Um, the only difference, really, chips have been moved around, resistors have been moved around. The chip here, so let's take this apart. If I can get it apart. Very tight fitting case. There we go. So with the B plus, everything kind of lines up pretty much perfectly. Um, everything's cut out correctly with the B plus, and that's it's designed that way. It's the it's a case for the B plus. So to test if it works with the Pi 2. I can slide this on in here. This does not seem to be fitting. That's interesting. So this, this should fit just right, and it does, just like it's supposed to. All the ports cradle in on the side, micro SD in the back, ports in the front. I know my, my zoom is going crazy because I'm so close to it. Let's see if I can do this. Just manual zoom. There we go. So the B plus fits perfectly. And then the Pi 2 doesn't seem to want to play well. I don't want to break anything. Is it a thicker PCB? Doesn't look like it. Have things moved around that much? I do have a polyfuse here that's not in the same place with the B+, the polyfuse has moved. I wonder if that's causing the problem here. Yep, that's exactly what's going on. The polyfuse is hitting this tab here. Maybe I can just sand that down a little bit. Let's see if this fits up in here. Uh, it seems to want to fit in here. It seems to want to fit just fine. All the ports line up correctly. The AV and the camera port seems to line up. The The chip again, chip has been moved a little bit uh, due to the architecture and the way things are designed. But everything else here, display, camera, HDMI, all that seems to line up. So I'm guessing it since, since the polyfuse has been moved, it doesn't fit in here because of this. Maybe if I took that down a tad, that little tab right there, if I took that down, maybe it would fit. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, YouTube, sorry about that. We'll do a little editing, maybe a fade, maybe get really fancy with things. Uh, thanks to my handy-dandy Dremel, I was able to take that tab back here down just a little bit. Um, I did kind of slip, but it's inside the case. I don't care. Uh... So, let's see what that's like. This is the Raspberry Pi 2 in the Raspberry B Plus case. And again, everything here seems to fit. That just went right on in. That polyfuse was the problem. Right there on top of that, uh, I don't know what you'd even call that. That little tab for some reason right there. There's another one mirroring it on the other side. So, this fits just fine. Let's see if this fits. Maybe. I'm trying to do this through the camera. I can't really look at things through the camera. Hurt. 
See, that's that's my, my my mistake thinking that I'm not retarded. Let's uh, let's do it again. I, I love and hate this case because it's a really tight fitting case that's made essentially perfectly. There's nothing wrong with the case, but I hate it because it's made perfectly and I'm a retard. So, went right in, snapped together, all the ports line up just like they're supposed to. Um, these ports here line up just like they're supposed to. Let's, uh, let's see if this is accessible and working. Yep, SD card right in place. Just like it's supposed to. Again, the chip right here does kind of uh let's see if we can get some better lighting in here. All these ports, your your AV, your camera, and your HDMI display, GPIO, they all line up, but the chip here is not going to. So if you have a heat sink or if you intend on putting a heat sink on there, um I it's not gonna work. You're gonna have to do some some dremeling, maybe, if if your case is set up this way. Um, also that, that poly fuse, you're going to have to do a little bit of dremeling if your case is set up that way. Um, just as heads up, but Raspberry Pi B plus cases do seem to fit. And the, the Pi 2 almost seems like it's heavier than the, than the B plus. I'm not sure why. Um, but that is the Pi 2. That is initial fitting, that is a side-by-side -side comparison, or side-by-side-by-side -by -side -by -side comparison with uh, the current generation of Raspberry Pi products. Uh, stay tuned for a performance video, uh, and always thank you for watching. Stillborn86, out.